Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom, and I finally got him to watch Deathgasm. And it was a family affair, as my sister and Paul also watched it with us, so thank you to them. I can't believe you made me watch this movie. I love this movie. This is not the first time I watched this movie, but probably this was definitely his first time. Probably not the first time you watched this movie this month. Yeah, that's true. Tell him about the movie. The movie opens with... Our main character, Brody, who has to live with his aunt, uncle, and shitty cousin because of some terrible events that happened with his mom that landed her in the psych ward, potentially for life. Some unfortunate circumstances, you could say. Yes. So, Brody is a death metal kid who is moving into a very, very, very Christian household, and already he is not getting a warm reception from his family, which is very unfortunate goes to school and makes friends with two other outcasts who the one's very into role playing games like kind of dungeons and dragony type things and uh, the other one doesn't quite get the rules of the game but mm -hmm. still plays anyways you can't cast fire on a fire troll yes so Brody's in one of the local record shops and meets Zach who is kind of like the king of death metal guys in this area they form a friendship which they call the Brotherhood of Steel and decide to put a band together. Zack finds out that there is a reclusive, very well-known black metal musician that is hiding out in this particular town. Somehow convinces Brody to assist him with breaking and entering. Weird circumstances with this and they're given an album before this mysterious person shows up for Ricky who is the reclusive musician. He is dispatched, unfortunately, and we find out that this is all a much bigger thing just than music. They find in the record some pages that turn out to be the Black Hymn. They accidentally play the Black Hymn and start the end of the world. Acc accidentally on purpose. Accidentally on purpose, because <laughs> Brody really, really wants the power that is promised within the Black Hymn, which releases demons. And now they have this evil organization on their tail. They're trying to fight demons. There's also a little love story between Brody and Medina, who is a very, very girly girl, very straight-laced kind of person. And they're adorable. There's a scene where they're sitting on a park bench eating ice cream together. And he is in corpse paint and death metal gear. And she's in this, like, pink pink and white, like, preppy princess stuff. And the big joke is that that is her two personalities hanging out and having, uh, having ice cream together. Yep. So we're going to leave it off here as it is spoiler free. I'd also like to point out that Brody is essentially every guy I dated in high school because they were all death metal guys. So yay for me. What did you like about this movie? <laughs> um... Uh, I liked the music. The mu I thought the music was great. I thought this was... It was funny. It was it's fun hilarious. Like, 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 I really... Like, I laughed a lot more than I was like, ugh. But the thing I know you loved, and I loved it too, was there were buckets of blood in this... Holy shit. Like the, the part where they're playing the black hymn <laughs> yeah. and everyone's vomiting blood. And then you see someone pushing a stroller and there's this tiny geyser of blood. And me and Zoe just started laughing oh and look over at you and Paul and you're kind of like... Me and Paul are both like, what the hell did we just watch? So, I mean, it was it was pretty fun. Like, the comedy was there, but it wasn't too much. The practical effects were great. And the buckets of blood were entertaining. Mm -hmm. So I definitely liked that. What did I, you like? I enjoyed that the the personalities of the characters were really genuine. Like, Zack is not a nice person. Mm -hmm. And at no point are they ever really showing him redeem himself. And he's just true to what he is. Mm -hmm. I like uh, the chemistry between Brody and Medina. I thought that was so cute. I... Uh, course love the gore there's some really really good gore there are some really tight shots on it and the humor just adds to it so much there's part where in the evil corporation the one agent doesn't get the black him from ricky the musician and he comes back to tell the boss 
and he pretty much says, you know, that that's it. And the guys come and dispatch him. And he's like, are you serious? This is a custom rug. You put a tarp down. Do it again. So they pull a tarp out, and the one's holding the head, and they're like, and he's like, good. <laughs> Real, it's so ridiculous, and I love it. And I, of course, the first time I watched it was like, ooh, that's, that's everywhere. And then he's like, really? No tarp? Really? Mm -hmm. So I enjoyed that a whole lot. I just, the pacing of this, one of my dislikes, I felt like the pacing was a little off. There's some stuff I could have done without, but I did feel like it was a solid movie. I really enjoyed it. Do you have any dislikes? Yes. I hate the way they changed Medina at the end. That, well, it was, we're not spoiling things. I know. It's just, no, no, no. Just her, uh, they, they fed it's into so many stereotypes. Yeah. They fed into so many, they fed into so many appearance, ster appearance stereotypes. It was fine when it was the death metal kids. Because it's like, yeah, it's stereotypical. The one thing I did love, actually, was the fact that the one kid that played the keyboard, corpse paint, preppy collared polo shirt, and cargo shorts. And his I, glasses. And his glasses. I laughed hysterically when I saw that. So, but I just, I didn't like the, the, I didn't like the... You don't need to change what you look on the outside exactly, to like to death enjoy metal. Exactly, to enjoy death metal. There were a lot of nods to trivium. And I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> like this. I love Trivium, but it was one of the albums that they pull up in the record Trivium, store, and, like, oh, and then I like love that. every poster on every wall was Trivium, Trivium, and I'm like, that album is amazing. But like, why does it keep popping up? I need to look more into this. Did was some of their music in the? I don't believe so. I was about to say the only thing I can think of is that some of their music is in the movie, and they were like, "Listen, if you use our music, you got to put our albums and stuff in there somewhere." I mean, I didn't pay super close attention mm -hmm. to what the music was, so it very well could have been, but I don't recall any songs that stood out to me. But also, like, check out Trivium; they're really good. <laughs> they're awesome. I've seen them play live; they're great. Um, what would you rate this? I would give this a... I, I will give this a 4 out of 5. The comedy of it all really brought it up for me. The gore was solid. I thought the story was kind of stupid, to be honest. The story was kind of cheeky and dumb. But the everything else that was ha happening in the movie really held it together through all the dumb shit. Um, it just, I just, the story really didn't, the, like, the story, I did, I didn't like the story. But I, I, as weird as it sounds, I didn't like the story, but I actually liked the movie. Because I liked the, like, the actors in it, like, the gore, the music was cool, the, uh, effects were great, the, you know, everything else I liked about the movie, literally, except for the story. Like, and not the entire story, but, like, the main plot of the story. I was just like, eh. Made me. I was. I was indifferent about it. Me. So. I'd probably give this a four point five out of five. I really, 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 really like this movie. It's not perfect by any means, but I, it just everything flowed so nicely. Even if it took longer than I would have liked, just because I have a short attention span, probably it feeds a niche for you. But I felt like even the one part when Zach comes to help them out. And he's wearing corpse paint. And I pointed it out like, when did he have time to do that? And then they bring it up in the movie. I really liked that because it kind of followed, it, you it know. It hits an obvious node. It puts an obvious thing out there where you were like, but what? Wait a second. And then they acknowledge it in the movie. I love it when movies do, do that. And everything just was, I felt like everything was pulled off really well. There were no real points where I felt like the practical effects were garbage. Mm -hmm. I felt like it was really well done. It was really well shot. Oh, yeah, the effects were great. Yeah. Um, bonus like. Two different points in this movie, they go over band names. Oh, and yes. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. 13 S's, just so good. The birth birth canal canoe jumpers. What the? Like, who thought up of these what names? Was it anal bulimia? <laughs> No, that's literally like just Google <laughs> death metal names, and you're gonna see a lot of this. I kind know, of but there were so great stereotypical death metal names. I yeah. was like, oh my god! These and are, at one point, these they're are funny. they're arguing between the current and the former lead singers of Cannibal Corpse, and I'm like, Chris Barnes for life. 
I love Chris Barnes. But yeah, this is a super, super duper fun movie. If this is if you like death metal, if you like metal, and even if you don't like horror movies, you'll still like this movie because of all the metal references yeah. in it. Yeah. This is definitely for somebody who likes metal and somebody who likes horror. You'll absolutely love this movie. Like You'll understand the part in the woods when they're doing the music video. <laughs> because that's like every low budget mm -hmm. death metal music video. I remember in high school, like <laughs> holding the camera for my boyfriend's band while they're just like, Ugh, and all like these aren't even looking, plugged in. with swords and like capes yeah. and yeah, uh, super fun. But yeah. yeah, I love this movie. This is again one of those funny movies that this has a lot more gore, I think, than the other mm -hmm. ones. That we've watched recently, like uh, Scout's Guide and um, Tucker and Dale. Tucker and Dale, definitely a lot more gore, definitely a lot more raunchy, but still Going in like a progression. You would yeah. go Scouts, Tucker versus Dale, and then end with yeah. Deathgasm, which yeah, is yeah. kind of what you did to me. Yep. Over the last two days, she made me so. watch a ton of movies, make me do all these reviews, send help. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Leave a comment down below. Have you seen this movie? What did you think? Do you have any movies to recommend to us as well? Like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you like death metal and let me know which, uh, do you like recent Cannibal Corpse or do you prefer Six Feet Under at the moment? Let me know. Uh, hit the bell notification for all further notifications of uploads and live streams i tongue twisted and then my brain just the went bell away. notification yep. notification bell so you'll get all the updates here all of the updates all of the updates <laughs> um you can find me on facebook at reanimator reviews twitter and instagram at reanimator my solo as well as reviews with the groom are available on itunes in podcast form thank you to the farsighted network please also check out all of their awesome creators and content you can find me on twitch under repeat reanimator and on twitter under repeat groom ray you can also find all links to our social media down here in the description box below, quick links, you can click on them, hit follow. We'd love to have you follow us. Not not real life, that'd be creepy. So, yeah, <laughs> I'd throw that out there. Deathgasm. I, you've been trying to get me to watch this forever. Yep. And I'm happy, once again, you were right about a movie. You know, still not as good as other movies you've suggested, but I did have a good time, and it was nice to see your sister and Paul. So, I guess thank you for that. Yep. All right, see you later, guys. 13 S's.